Thanks so much for hanging out with us tonight. So listen to this. Tomorrow we have a gigantic show. Huge. Possibly the biggest yet because we're revealing the Rockford Rivets new mascot right here at 5.30 p.m. And then we're naming the GDS Mom of the Year. We are going to be Big busy. show. It's a big show. We're going to have to sleep tonight a lot or something. <laughs> One more thing before we go. Tamanika is back with the latest topic taking over the internet this week. What? Is buzzing. Okay, so I think it's funny how we're celebrating like uh, moms, nurses, and teachers. Yes. So this one mom read a book and she has a very like little toddler. I don't know which age you consider toddler. Two to but so she read this book and in the book it acts, um, it basically told her the most nine important minutes of, of a child's day. So it's called the nine minute theory. Okay. So her video was posted back in February, but the video just like recently went super viral and now it's all over the place. Huh. So, but the nine minutes are split into three minute increments. So the three minutes after kids wake up, three minutes after kids get home from school and day or daycare, and then three minutes before they go to bed. So these are supposedly the most important minutes in your oh, child's day. Did people agree? Or disagree? Yes, but some of them are also like, well, <laughs> they said the three minutes before their bed, they said they ruined it because they're always yelling at their kids to get in bed, get Every in the shower, day. eat your dinner, do all of this stuff. So they they did agree, but they said those are all like they, they that also makes sense. Yeah, I think if you really want like those minutes to matter, you should literally set a timer. Yeah. Cause that's like, and tell your kid, I would be like, listen, child. Yeah. These are the most important minutes of your day. So <laughs> don't be asking me for water. Okay. Go to the bathroom already. Okay. Like, don't be, let's not argue for three. Can we see if we see, can do that for three, three whole minutes? minutes. <laughs> after, I, but I don't get that after you wake up though. I don't get because that Because you want to wake up like, Positive? No, you don't want to wake up crabby. Like if you're okay. like yelling at your kid okay, to wake okay, up, then okay. they're gonna start their day like that and they'll probably like remember. Okay. I saw something on Instagram the other day which was really interesting too, which was about kids and how they will probably have no memories from four or younger. Why? But do you? You I did psychology for <laughs> two semesters. Actually, that was no, a lot. Do you two remember years. being four or younger? Four? But what I'm saying is you ever heard of infantile amnesia? That's two and younger. Okay. So that's how I was the like The point four. of the story was like, everything you're doing to make your kid's life bigger and better and you're spending all this money from age zero to four, mm -hmm. they're they just gonna remember that. that you love them. Yeah. So like, don't be spending all that money and all that yeah. stuff from zero to four. Okay. But do spend the time. Okay. Like, like I'm with you on like the that. They just remember how they feel. I feel like another one is go to your kid's games. <laughs> my mom was at every single one of my games. <laughs> that is important. That is a very, very important <laughs> minute. Or even an hour sure. of your life. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I just had to get that she, one. She really wanted to, you know, <laughs> Mother's Day. Shout out to her mom for going to all the games. That is important. No, that is important. very important. My parents would come to my games, um, though I was the youngest, so sometimes there was a lot of other people with games. Yeah. But by the time I was like the only one in high school in musicals, they would come and watch those musicals over and over and over again. Okay. Like, my brothers would come one time, bring and cereal, done. and eat it in the audience and be like, we came. We showed up for one. <laughs> All right, fine. Hopefully you have a great rest of your day. Do not forget to join us tomorrow. We have so much going on. We should probably just go to bed now. We'll see you then. Bye-bye.